Yo, what is up guys? This is Video James and today we're going to be talking about the not so serious Ninja Turtle, Michelangelo. Now I've been playing him online all day for like the past two or three days and he's been a total blast. I mean he is pretty broken, he has some pretty OP moves, he can zero death people just off of a single grab. I've had so many people rage quit or just like start taunting or suicide, I mean you know how it is. So we're going to go over all that and, and some other things that I think are pretty interesting and cool that might help you out. So if you find this video useful and helpful, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you'd like me to make tutorials on other characters in the future, let me know in the comments who they are and also subscribe to me. <laughs> all right, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's start with the neutral game. All right. Michelangelo's best move to use during the neutral game, and his best move in general in my opinion, is his Nair. Okay? It protects the front of him and the top of him. It's just, it's so good. And it has pretty decent range. Okay, It beats out a lot of people with um, stubby arms like uh, Oblina or Danny Phantom. People like that. They just, they can't, they can't compete with that. Alright? Um, you're going to want to get really good at drifting in and out as you attack with this thing. Okay? So um, e that way you either hit them, and that's great, or if they try to like shield grab you or, or parry you or something like that, you hit them and back up, and you are way too far for them to be able to do anything about it, okay? Because if they do, there's just another one coming in their face, you know? So, so get really good at doing that. Also, if they start like running at you and approaching you, you could do this while retreating, like, and it'll beat out a lot of moves. So just, just get really good and consistent about running away and doing that and maybe even approaching forward, um, though that can get you punished if you like land next to them. If they guard, then they can grab you out of it. So really just, just get really good at using this and be very uh, flexible in where you land. All right, let's get a little bit more advanced here with your Nair, um, and we're going to talk about fast falling it. Okay, um, This makes it so you can... Uh, you know, attack a lot faster for one, and also just mix up your timing. Um, people that are not used to going against somebody who does this will have a really hard time. It's basically equivalent to fast falling in, in uh, melee, um, and you melee players will have a really uh, easy time doing this because it almost feels like L canceling. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm jumping, attacking, and then air dashing down. So attack, air dash down, attack, air dash down, attack, air dash down, right? And then you do that, you know, uh, over and over again, and you, you kind of get build a muscle memory. And soon it'll just, you'll, you won't even have to think about it. You'll just start doing it all the time. All right, let's talk about how to actually use this to combo. So if you hit an opponent and they are in the air, they will move sideways in slow motion. That allows you to extend your combos. Let me show you. See how he moved in slow motion? So, and it only works while they're in the air, okay? So they have to be in the air, and then they just move in slow motion, allowing you to extend the combos. Um, if you try to hit them while they're on the ground or, or just standing on something, they're just going to get hit like it's a normal move. They'll twirl up and then land back down. Twirl up, land back down. So, so it, it only works while they're actually falling in, down to the ground, okay? So how do you actually zero death someone? Well, I'll show you first and then I'll explain it after. Oh, Just like I that. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is grab, okay? And on this level, um, the platform can get kind of annoying, so you're just going to have to do this wherever the platform is not. So up throw, nair, nair, grab is basically all you're doing. Up throw, nair, nair, grab. Up throw, nair, nair, grab. Just like that. And I would practice going to training mode, put your computer to level zero, and just practice doing that until, until you can do this pretty consistently. Because that's, that's what you're going to be doing every time you get a grab with Michelangelo. Alright, so you're pretty consistent in it now. You can uh, nair, nair, grab pretty consistently. So what do you do now that they're by the ledge? Well, you're just going to do the same thing one more time. You're going to nair, nair, then you're going to double jump, grab, down throw, okay? Nair, nair, double jump, grab, down throw. Nair, nair, double jump, grab, down throw, okay? Um, I choose down throw because it is it is the right angle to, to kill him earlier. You can sometimes just do it by a regular throw, forward throw, but down throw is way more consistent. So uh, one more time, okay? 
So you're, you're, you're going to the ledge. Okay, now you're going to up throw, nair nair, double jump grab, down throw. Okay? Double jump grab, down throw. Just like that, okay? And yes, this combo works even if they DI your throws. If they DI in, like towards me, then uh, they'll end up actually going straight up. Okay? Um, and that's not a problem because when you nair, they'll actually just get hit by the top part of your nair. So you don't have to like back up or do that or anything like that. You just jump straight up and just do what you were doing before. Boom, boom. Okay? And if they DI away, then they'll end up actually going like way out here. So you could just boom, boom, and then catch them again right here. So it, it, no matter how they DI, you can always do this combo. And if you've tried this and you have trouble at killing them exactly at 0%, um, you can actually space your uh, nares a little bit like apart from each other and it'll still connect combo and it'll still be a true combo you don't have to like attack as fast as possible like you could do something like this like that see they're, they're dead at zero you can also do things like this or you could do something like this A lot of times people try to use the jump button to try and get out of combos. So this is one way you can capitalize that when they're at mid percent. You can do something like this. It uh, works pretty well. I've gotten plenty of people like that. Again, mid percent. Like that. Or you can kill like this at mid percent. Alright, it's time to talk about his down B, okay? And not for this reason. Even though it's hilarious, okay, and you could stall anyone out and win any game technically, and just stay up here forever, it is not it is not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about being able to do things like this. Like that. So yeah, get really used to using this move a lot. It'll help you not get juggled. Um, especially characters like Leonardo, who really likes to juggle. Um, since you could jump out of the shell, you really can mix up where you're going to land, you know? And he's going to be trying to, like, chase you in the air, or maybe he's charging a smash attack down here. Um, and you could just avoid it. You know, most characters only have an air dash, and that's that'll work. But we have more than that. We can shell and then air dash, you know? So it's, it's, it works really well. Also, it works well... Um, because you could jump into anything, like, you can, like, start your combo off really well that way. Just like that, pretty much. See? Now I got my, now I got it. Um, and, of course, you can tr uh, cancel it into a smash deck. So that works really well. And that was the up one. I really like the up one. Um, it's what I probably use most of the time, unless if they're by the edge, then I do the down one. Uh, but most of the time, you know, <laughs> they're just somewhere on the stage and you can just do this anywhere Perfect. and it'll kill. I like The up one's probably my go-to, unless if, unless if they're at a lower percent. I guess if they're at like, I don't think it'll kill at 100. If I could hit them. Well... Yeah, and that was the grounded one, which is stronger than the upper, the air one, but yeah, just uh, get really good at mixing this up, like, you know, it seems like it'd be easy to react to, but you'd be surprised how many times you can get in, like, especially when you're just, like, going in and then you just, like, fall on them, and, like, you could like, cancel it again and again on them, like, I don't know how they're gonna patch it, but that's how it is for now. The last thing I want to talk about is his projectile, his pizza. Um, it's not a bad projectile at all. I mean, when you throw it, a little piece comes out, you can catch that piece, and then you can actually throw the piece and the pe pepperoni at the same time, and they combo into each other. And if they're by the ledge, you could kill them that way. Uh, <laughs> it works pretty well. I like to use it to zone out and throw, th just throw it out every once in a while. And uh, just keep them going. Like, you really want to... You, you don't want them to forget that you have it. That's the important part. You know, you always want to keep it in their mind, something that they constantly have to think about and wonder if, if they're going to have to dodge it, you know, if they're going to have to guard, you know. When I'm standing here 
Am I going to actually throw something? Am I going to come up and do that? You know, am I going to my shell? What am I doing here? Because this actually comes out pretty fast. You know, it, it really does. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. If you found it helpful or interesting, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. Just comment down below which characters you want me to review next. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Peace.